One of the big differences between our Farm Box program and other CSAs is that we're able to pre-cool our produce, which makes a big difference in quality and the shelf life uh, for consumers. All big growers pre-cool their produce and different items are pre-cooled in different ways. Being part of this big farm really enables us to have better quality. We have four ways here at the farm to pre-cool produce. One of the big ways is with a vacuum cooler and what a vacuum cooler does is it sucks out all the air and it cools down the produce in the middle of that pallet. Napa cabbage is very dense and we used to use our forced air coolers which forces cold air through the pallets and through the produce. When we use forced air cooling to pre-cool Napa cabbage, it took up to four hours depending on the time of year and how hot it was in the field. Here, now we have our new vacuum cooler and it takes 45 minutes to pre-cool Napa. So the fresh Napa comes in out of the field, it can be pre-cooled and loaded on a customer's truck and sent to Denver or Chicago the same day. And so that's the idea, is the fresher product going out faster. It's much more efficient. We also have a hydro cooler, which our Fresh Harvest or our Tally Farms box program uses a lot. We put our corn under the hydro cooler, our carrots, our lettuce, and, and it's cold, cold water that flows through the pallets, and then it's recycled. And, and every day that water is emptied out and tested, and then we put fresh water into the system every morning. It's hooked up to our ice machine, so you get very cold water and it gets the heat out of the product right away. With corn especially, that's super important is to get it cooled right away. We also have four stair coolers, as I mentioned, and they are good for berries, green beans, summer squash, and we use them a lot. We have seven different uh, four stair coolers here. We use them for our bell peppers. So they're really in use uh, from August to October when we're heavy into our bell pepper season. So we have our, our hydro cooler, our vacuum tube, forced air cooling, and then we have an ice machine. And ice is used um, to pre-cool Brussels sprouts, broccoli. You can put ice on the bottom boxes of cilantro. And so those are different ways to pre-cool. There are new cooling methods being developed all the time. And so we're always looking at new methods that are more energy efficient. And, and do a good job of, of giving more shelf life to our produce.